Hello, 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 and welcome back to another uh, Imperial Galactic uh, Survival episode. Uh, I did the liberty of doing a little exploration off camera to find some necessary materials for the base, and upon doing so, I found this crashed capital ship, which contained lots of various technologies and other goodies that I've found, uh, such as suit upgrades even, which is a really good find, such as uh, this multi-booster, and I also plan on replacing this temperature one with some extra jet pack. That way it makes, uh, allows me to fly up higher. As you can tell, we have lots of advanced electronics, plates, we've got components all over the place. So I've done a lot of salvaging on this ship already, but as you can see, we've still got uh, some thrusters to take out here. I don't intend on taking these things as a whole, because they're just too big and they would weigh it. The material's already weigh me and the vehicle down enough as it is. I am trying my best to scrap every piece of the ship as I can because for every little piece of technology of the ship as I can because it's very important that I have plenty of components for making the base as well as some other vehicles such as a small vessel. Um, this is this is my last cargo box, so I'm definitely stretching it here in the available inventory space. Okay, that one. Let's grab up this one over here. Oh, well, oh, as you can tell, I can't carry the flux coils. Um, let's see if we can squeeze some extra material somewhere. The harvest controller can carry some. There we go. We are in side of Talon territory. There is a lot of Talon territory, so we're surrounded by a bunch of neutral, hopefully eventually friendly, uh, factions here. Let's see if we have any space in... Yes. Shove some of this in there. Take up a lot of that space. Small thruster. Clean that. As you can see, it takes up practically half my inventory getting And now I can dump off some more if possible. Um, under devices, let's check. I think I've already shoved what I can. The fridge can't really carry much anyway, so it's shoving stuff in there. Harvest controller is full. Uh, ammunition is full. <laughs> yeah, so we're pretty loaded up now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try. Factory. For iron. Oh, iron plates. Titanium, silicon, copper. This is how we get rid of the majority of the material. As long as it goes to something useful, I don't really mind. Which does remind me, I should just siphon a bunch of this material. For the purpose of 
Grab the base. Grab a couple of like this. Right in. We just got enough carbon substrate. Not good. Just got enough copper. That's good. More iron, silicon, stone dust. We're gonna have to work on that stone dust a bit because uh, you have to craft it. You can't just take crushed stone and shove it in. Uh, oh, also, I did find a sniper rifle, which I don't have very many sniper rounds to do with it, but we do have a sniper rifle, so that's great. And uh, a submachine gun, which will also help. It uses pistol rounds, so I would have to crack it on some of that. But that reduces my have to crafting a weapon uh, for now. We need. Does give. Does give silicone and iron. Go in here and dump off some silicon iron straight. And we're done with that. Uh, I know that there's some plating in here somewhere for iron. Reckon. Okay, I'm just testing the audio. I did uh, adjust it just slightly, but it does have some drastic effects. That should be a little bit nothing too loud. Did notice that some of the audio was drowning my voice out at some parts terribly. So I've been kind of juggling that slider up and down here and there. We're almost done with the iron. It's a shove more computer in there. Computers help fill up the silicon. Actually the glass. Glass is helpful on that front too. So definitely shove some of that. Oh, I think we have some glass on the other side. That's what we're doing. About back. No, not have more. So we'll just show what we've got there. Ever so closer. We did reduce uh, the the production time from about an hour to 43 minutes. So that'll save time. Of course, we can also sleep a uh, tent and that should also help speed it up and now that we've freed up some inventory space we should be able to go around and scrap up some technology I did take some fuel out I don't think I can take that out no. uh, it has to be a minimum amount of some number that I did not keep in mind so. and having salvaged some fuel I did I was able to make some ammunition for the uh, multi-tool so that's a double plus I think I have some more ammunition in the back of the vehicle right now I'll have to reclaim eventually uh, mm, there were more glass that nice However, they're not. I have clips to do. I have pull. Oh, snap! Hey, you don't want to reload a partial clip because the way some weapons work is that it reloads the entire ammunition in one clip. So it's like a per clip basis. Then you have weapons like shotguns and laser weapons, I think. 
And again, Reforged Eden kind of changes some of that as well. So uh, I would have to be aware of stuff like that. Silicon, silicon. It's not silicon. This is silicon. That does provide silicon. Motor. Again, I'm I'm not afraid to just shove these materials in because they are going to get used one way or another, and any leftover material will remain in the factory for anything else. It it will definitely get its use one way or another. I'm gonna scrap up this cannon turret, uh, but first. The plastic tubes. Those are silicon, aren't they? Huh. Okay. So, steel plates. Get some of that weight off. There. Help. We're gonna go and come over here. Grab these cannon turrets, which would also provide a probably a decent amount of material. Yeah, not too shabby. Definitely more silicon product, and I do need that. I do want to salvage, so I don't want to have a chance of claiming it and having to scrap it all over again. Nice. Our advanced electronics. That did help with the neodymium, by the way. So, advanced electronics are wonderful. Wonderful in here. And Reforged Eden, we're getting for satisfying that ne neodymium requirement. Almost got enough silicon. Getting close, but it seems like we've run dry of technology on this crashed vessel. So I need to take our leave. Uh oh. Got got a little bit stuck there. There we go. Slodged from it. Good go. A ruined landing pad, you say? Where is that? There's a green energy signal. There's. However, I'm not reading this ruin. Oh, there it is. Let's head towards that thing. Find something good there. And there is a giant rock which might be able out for some stone dust. Definitely gonna do that. Giant bug not notice us. Those things are a pain in the butt to kill. Just a fight period. Um I can get a little bit of silicon out of this. No, it's carbon substrate. Well, there's some optical fiber. Not, not worth the trouble. Oh, I don't like that. What? Oh, frick. Raptors. Just my luck. Whew. That was close. I did not expect to find Andro Andro Raptors. Did not expect to find Andro Raptors lurking around. They can see you a pretty good clip away. 
and they're usually only around at night, which it so happens to be. However, there's nothing satisfying at this place, so I'm going to take our leave. Okay. Let's open our map. We came from here. North. Found these two uh, points of interest. What to do now? Want to do that marker? Place a new marker over here. Want to go over there? See if we can find any new points of interest that we can scrap up. I. Uh, that's. Oh, that's the town. I did want to. Didn't want to scrap that rock, but we'll, we'll get to that time. No. I need more stone dust than anything, so I think that's what I'll do. It might take a while to churn it up, though. Rocks usually have a lot of health. Hmm, that makes me wonder then. Uh, what do we have? Let's go into our hover vessel. Can we make a mechanical drill for this vehicle? We can make harvester module too, but we already have one. Ah. We can. Just have to lock the firing recipe. Alright, good. Well, if that's the case, then what we'll do is so we'll go to the hover constructor. We'll look at hover based technology, right? Uh oh. Ah, there we go. Motors and steel plates. We should have, we should have plenty of that. So let's go here. Steel. Plates, cargo bus, mission. There. Oh, but we do have some silicon to make use of from glass plates. Harvest. We do have some motors. We'd be able to make at least two of these things. We could make more, actually. Uh, I'll make a third one. Alright, we now take the last place from here. Oh, did I put them? I did not put them in my inventory. There we go. I just shoved them into another part of the cargo bus. Brings us a bit closer. Have one mechanical drill ready. This can work, right? Back the That'll work. Then we'll go back and grab. Oh, the other two are ready. That's wonderful. Okay. So now that that's through, just going to these components. Ooh.
much damage am I doing with this? Oh, it's doing a heck of a lot more damage. This is far, far better. Of course, I'm still going to need to have to pick up the stone by hand because it's going to be far too much to carry. Yep, some of it's on the ground over there. Which was labeled. Oh. Did it even. I don't think it even entered. Just broke down. So. I have a. I don't know if I can have a wireless connection. Yep. I was able to pick up some of it. We're immediately gonna start processing this in stone dust, however. It is Did I hit up the most? One on this side. Or no, it's the ammunition box actually. I've still not got enough space for all of this stuff. There's just too much to keep. More crushed stone right here. Oh, you know what? what? am I doing? This doesn't require out of space. Shove it all in here. That'll solve the problem. I'll still get the product I desire. There's the rest of the stone. Shove it in. And make ever more stone dust. There. I'll solve our little conundrum. And we'll take a quick nap. Perfect. We got a lot of stone dust processed. We'll just shove this all in here. That is definitely the way to do it. It takes uh, it takes a good amount of drill work to break down a rock by hand with just your own mechanical drill, but it is certainly certain not fun. Give me all my stuff back. Now what I want to do is I want to put these in their own group. Uh, just add to oh call it drills. I'll just add this to the drills group. Each drill will add to the last group. We'll click on this group and flip it on no touchy. <laughs> there. Now we can turn the drills off whenever we don't need it. And that way the harvester module can uh, be used. Did have some stone dust. Too. Oh, I know what went wrong there. 
Yep, they can't make it because the inventory here is too full. It makes some space. Alright. Ooh, yeah. It takes a fair effort to move this vehicle. I think it's because of the drills. They probably add a hefty amount of weight to it. But it's better to have drills than no drills. Get your stone real fast. Where are we heading in? Okay, so some undiscovered areas of the map. Good. Might be able to find some more POIs. However, we did want to go towards yellow mark. I'm going to set this on pilot mode. Oh, and it does look like we're reaching a bit out there, so I think I can carry this. Yeah, I can carry it for now. I can carry these for now. That way we can save the, uh, we can get a better turning rate and save our CPU from uh, stressing our fuel. And we're just going to take a nice three kilometer ride towards the marker. Occasionally scan for any results or something. Oh, look at that. You might find another abandoned building. However, there's just if it is the same building, let's just hope that the uh, practically only entrance in doesn't kill us. We do have some C4s, so we might be able to blow through some of the doorways. Ziggurat. Oh. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen this before. I'm going to check this out real quick if we can. Locked up. I don't think we'll be able to enter safe. Oh well, wait. Never mind. Maybe we can find uh, traders or something here. I actually have something good that I can consider. What in the world is going on here? You guys' particle effects are slowing down this game. The graphics card's sitting at 70%. RAM's actually pretty high on usage right now. Around 80% of uh, 16 gigabytes. Yep, of course, you can't touch it. No touchy or you make them upset. Besides whatever you guys are doing, I'm guessing you all having a ritual. Whatever. Uh, you guys don't really seem to have anything useful for me. Nope, just more things that I can't touch you. Ah, remember the days that some containers could be looted without any repercussion. You could just gladly look inside, they'll just be like, oh, well, if you want that, take it, you know. 
but... Oh! An abandoned vessel yard! This might prove, uh... Useful. Indeed. Maybe we might find some spare vessels with some good components. Oh wow. That's actually a fairly good sized facility. Not bad. It's got lots of containers, it looks like. Be prepared for anything. They say. Oh! dropping from. I hate those scorpions. They hurt so much. Also, about that dust. Got the dust. Having some stuff back. Uh, this is what I get for hoarding, by the way. Uh, how about this? Stop the production of this, and we make a new cargo container, too. That's what, what I got. That. It's a process. It's definitely a process. Forget the steel plates, just drop them on the board. All the space I can get. At least we did get a lot of stone dust out of it. That's very good. container also affects how much uh, is going to be inside of it so if you want the bulkiest container you got volume capacity 500 oh wow there's actually some containers here that can store a hefty amount double the amount of the other okay uh, take that back Still half the amount than it was so uh, expected to be, but that's fine. Shove this meat in the fridge before it perishes. It nearly expired. Uh, I want you to work on making. Meat. I'm gonna need some grub grub eventually. Okay, so we'll check this place out, see what it's got. I'll have to be careful of any random spawns like we just encountered earlier. Titanium, another scrap. Glass plates, we can shove that in uh, our craft. Bring this ever so closer. Oh, more of you uglies. Ooh, <laughs> damn! Like this abomination just all over the place. You can just die now, thank you. You don't even have anything interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to be extremely careful. The pr 
pretty tight area. But it had so much stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 wait. Um, just get sh shot by a turret. <sighs> I would like to reclaim some of those hit points. Thank you. Um, nope. That's not going to be fun if I'm going to get shot by turrets. Rifle upgrade kit. That'll be handy. Regulators. Electronics. Oh, wow. That'll come in handy. What is this turret? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. You have a sniper rifle. It does already come with six rounds. Nope, nope, that's not that's not doing very well. I've just got a dermal burn. Okay. Don't have any more bandages, so. I gotta find a way to peek this thing. Yeah. Oh, just enough. Now, I don't know if there's any other turrets around, but I do need to cure this dermal burn before it kills me. With that, I should place a tent down. Uh, just for the sake, in case I do die, it would be kind of, would kind of suck if I lost all of this to uh, dermal, dermal burn. Um. Now, this does heal me. It is going to take a lot of stamina. booster up. Oh, which kind of reminded me I should take some health supplies with anti-toxic ointment. Tox. I need that. Mm. Okay. Ready to rumble. Let's just see, find some turrets around here first. Don't get shot up by more of them. Or get bit by some alien. Any turret here? Just stay there and attempt to attack me. Or you could almost get me because of my stupidity. That was a little too close for comfort. That's coil. Gonna be a whole bunch of stuff here that I can just reclaim later. So I will leave materials alone until I can 
claim the space for myself. Remember what's inside this crate can serve? Ah, uh, no. Do not have any gun. Do not have any rifles. Fun. None of that's gonna be used currently. Additional growth. Hey, ugly. Drop, you know. Would they forget how to. Oh, so that stim boost down is gonna affect me. Just a little bit. Go ahead. Keep climbing. Keep serving as perfect dummies for shooting. Wow, there's so much good stuff here. Lots of purified water can help. Yeah, they're both dead. Good. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. This is a really good find. A lot of stuff. They're really only tur entire base. Kinda kinda shocked there was only one turret. But the question is now where is the doggone core to this place? It's gotta be around in here somewhere. Damage that. Um, your turn. Oh, there's a container in there. Could get to it. Oh, wait a minute. You could. No, can't. I gotta find the core. I gotta know where that core is. I'm not familiar with the POI. So it's gonna be of a, a bit of a search. Just hope that I can find it. Whatever. Wow, power coils? Oh, well, uh, I think I found it. Maybe. That. Oh. Yeah. Pretty safe. Oh. There's the generators. Fuel tanks. Going to gas. Oh, frick. me, didn't you? I gotta destroy this turret without getting- Oh! Frick! Okay. <sighs> I gotta go back up. I need to make a rifle. I need to make something to shoot out of range. Or I could just, I could just make, um, 
more sniper rounds, that should do the trick. Because I am by no means able going to shoot that with just a rocket launcher. No, sir. Um Yes. Requires copper ingots. Steel plates. Steel plates I get. Don't have I got four. Can it make enough bullets out of four? Fifteen rounds out of two ingots. Yes. Got enough. Uh what I need to do is set it to the ammunition controller. I I do need to eat some of that meat. Yes, please. I eat it sparingly. Uh, not ammunition. Container controller there. Now I need to take the wood that's in the harvest controller. Uh, excuse me. I need to put it back here. Uh, alien tubes doesn't weigh. Plastic tubes kind of does. And I don't care about plastic tubes, so I want my bullets. And since you'll make 15 rounds, that's going to be plenty what I need to do. Perfect. Now I got that. It's also raining outside. I don't know if you can hear the rain tack on the window or not. But uh, we do have quite a heavy storm underway. Okay. Now... Rearrange my weapon right here. Reload it. Uh, back to the elevator. Now we should be ready to take out that turret. Oh, you piece of crap. That's going to be a problem. It can see us before we can see it. Uh, oh, I know. I'll use the drone as a distraction. Hopefully I can deter... turn its turret. Ooh, not quite. Ooh, it's hot. Really hot. can't just go down there, otherwise I'm going to get shot to bits. I think I know what I need to do. Can I destroy these generators? Oh yes I can. Oh! Well. Yeah, I destroyed it alright, but uh, in so doing, uh... I killed myself. Perfect. And that's why I had to place the tent there. I knew eventually I would do something wrong and get myself killed. Well, you can't always have a perfect game. That's just the fun of it though. The challenge is always there. And uh, you do stupid crap like I did. <laughs> uh... Yeah. To be honest, I've never blown up a generator because I never really had to. So, um, yeah, that's fun.
Now I just gotta get my stuff back. And we can just, you know, freely destroy the other generator. Just get her stuff back in line. Alright. Who knows, it's probably just going to be too big of an explosion. Oh, okay. So, we blew out the generators. I know we lost out on some fuel, but bear with me, we can always make biofuel. Does that mean... I don't think that means we've disabled quite enough. Nope! No! <laughs> no, we did not. We did not disable enough. Yikes, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, I'm probably just gonna have to take some hits. This is probably going to cause me to die a number of times. Oh, wait a minute. Ah! <laughs> oh. Well, I am still smart. You can't see me, punk, but I can see you. Ah! That would have been a far easier plan if I'd thought of that earlier but I didn't so I paid the price oh yeah we've got uglies down here too Ooh, up 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 out 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 come on out here come on out here Guys, ever have anything? Yeah, you guys have some Xeno material. Good riddance. Still, if I had known to do that little trick earlier, it would have been. That thing would have been toast a lot sooner. But sadly, again, <laughs> we're not always that bright on the first go around. That's why we learn from our mistakes. Oh, nutrient solution. That's a must have. Uh, I don't need another motorcycle. I mean, later I can break it down. Ooh, a shotgun upgrade kit. Later I, I can break it down when I get the uh, acquired deconstructor. You go in here. Wow. So much stuff. Oh, fudge. I'm out. Peace, dog. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> uh. These are some good POIs that creep in the crap out of me. Aren't you gonna peer your little head out? If. Hey. Hey, ugly. Oh, you really are ugly. Disgusting. How much are we looking at here? Oh, well, we're definitely looking at another turret. That's for sure. Oh.
ugly. It sounds disgusting. No, did not blow up to Corey. However, there's some more loot room. Definitely want it. Where was that turret? Oh dear me, that scared the crap out of me. Where is that turret? It's somewhere. Oh. It's right above thy head. There, done. You're out. Game over, friend. Oh, where are you at? Oh, Go for the head. Still does more damage. At least this game allows it to shot. Here's Xeno material. Valuable stuff. Great. Let's see if we can take a better look at where we're going. Oh, fudge. Brick. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. See y'all come here. Fate. And get sniped. Perfect. Where's the other? Must have went back into the room. But it looks like unless there's two of them. Want to be aware. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, we took him out. I think the space is free and clear now. I hope. Only hope. Oh, well, take a look at that. A hollow sided pistol. Improved. Useful. Oh my gosh, they're dropping out of everywhere. Those are mini gun rounds, emergency crashes. I'll stick you in my hot bar. The oh. oh my gosh. I did not see that turret. It sure as heck. Oh my gosh. It sure as heck saw me. that I had medication. Emergency ration can help a little bit. Also feed. Uh, stamina, body temperature. 
give me health, but it will also give it a chance of giving oh indigestion, and we know that situation without a stomach pill. Gosh. Place wrecked. Ah, here's the core. Some fuel. Did I bring C4? Yes, I did. This one's for you, Papi. This way. Now the base belongs. Ollie, oh, well check that out. An advanced multi-tool and titanium ingots. Wow. That is some that is some good loot. Your daimium. Wow, we have a lot here to make use of. There is a lot of resources to exploit. Insulation. Uh, can't carry you guys. There we go. Then we've got all these fluid tanks, with respirator charges, all sorts of canisters, biofuel even. Nutrient solution, water containers, oxygen. Boy, we've got a lot to exploit here. Antibiotics. That. Stick that in there for now, because I want to stick this in there. Got another alien container. More explosives. Fuel cells. Uh, don't have enough space. The box can go back. I mean, I could definitely turn this base into my own, but I have a. Uh, close attachment to stuff that I've created, especially in survival games. I'm at least familiar with it and know where everything's at. I think I'll just exploit everything of this building. Uh, well. I just need stone. Speaking of it, I can drill that stone rock in time. I can shove it all into the. Okay. Shove it all into the uh, portable constructor. Oh, I turned my jetpack off. Why it's not working? There, there, there. And go right around. Now we're just going to take a moment to drill this rock. Because as soon as I've got a base up, because all I really need is a bit of silicon get from that base. We need quite a bit more stone dust, which we can get from this rock. I might just place the base somewhere near this one. We did level up to level 12, which is nice. Okay, so pull the portable constructor, place it down. 
have some things in here so I can carry more. Obviously, it's... Oh, no, there's the larger, larger chunk of stone. Then we're just going to convert all that to stone dust, and I don't care if we go over what we actually need. Then to sleep we go. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Perfect. Just wonderful. Okay. Now that we've got the stone dust out of the way, all we really need to do to get the remaining silicon is salvage what we can from the building glass. because I need this to be a point I need it. Yeah, not too bad, but I'll, I'll fill it up on just to keep it powered. Alright. Let's get cracking, boy. And I do want to use the rest of this clip before I move on to the advanced. Because Efficiency. Salvage. Oh yeah. And that gives me sathium even. Hefty stuff right there. There we go. Shut the base into production be ready eventually but I can't just sleep until morning uh, we got 13 game right around 13 in game minutes where we can do that so we'll take the time real for now we're currently running at an hour, eight minutes worth of footage, but I will take the time to go further for now, because we're so close to getting an operational base. Uh, take the time to scour around. I did remember the other box that I was but we can access it. Because, or was in the way. Where was it? On the other side. Yep, there it is. Not bad, some dropping shells for shotgun. Anti radiation ointment. There's radiation burn. Easy power, more cobalt, laser pistol charges. This base is also capable of being solar powered. It's thundering outside, raining. It's like it is currently in. Oh, I where? Always forget to get back on the uh, Don't know why. It's kind of a reaction based thing. Just don't always have that reaction to respond fast. Ooh, sniper upgrade kit. A case containing compensators for anti material rifles so they don't break shoulder. Nice. Hmm. How do you utilize upgrade kits though? Well, ah, 
Aha! It takes one sniper rifle and one sniper upgrade kit plus a list of materials. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You have to be level 15 in order to engage in that activity. Make that multi charge, yes. More optical fiber. Regulators. Got a whole bunch of stuff. We could build an entire ship from all this, I bet. And also got the medicinal. Those I think helps the production of medical ones. Another mechanical drill module to slap on. Really wonderful. Wow, we still have access to some of the fuel levels. Oh. Siphon that. Take that. No, no, same way. I wonder if there's any secret elsewhere. Probably not. Probably already come across all it has to offer. Stamina cover. Yeah. Two deaths. Was it one death? I think it was just one death, wasn't it? I lost count. If there were ever any more deaths past the mistake. One to two deaths ain't too bad for a new POI. Definitely unfamiliar with it. That's a good thing because then it makes it a lot more surprising, a lot more interesting, especially for a video. Oh, hello. Is this all made out of steel? Not bad. Steel blocks. This is made out of concrete. Okay, much longer. Hmm. Thirty more minutes. Band of vessel. Only sleep at night. That we can. Ship mounted rotary cannon. This using retractable minigun turret. Proper ammo, right? Yes, it, it is. We have some ammo for the gun on top, if and when we need to use it. I wonder if I can upgrade my shotgun. Indeed. Take the shotgun. Can upgrade my shotgun, right? No, 
that's something that's going to have to be saved for when the base is built because it requires a bigger constructor in order to construct weapons larger size. So now some of the stuff in here. Eat it right away. And uh portable constructors have seemingly infinite storage. So they are quite handy. As for that, I think what we'll do here come back here because that's going to take a bit of time. I want to be able to place the base right now, but take, I don't know, we'll see, travel, just travel around the planet real quick and see if we can't get the time, get to the other side of the planet to make it night. At least we can do some exploring along the way. And then we can come back here to place the base. I have good feelings about placing it near that water because then we could produce oxygen for uh, our craft when we go out to space. One. Oh. Okay, that's weird. The vehicle just did a full stop or something. There are some unknown signals over here. Resource signals. If one proves it to be Prometheum, that could be very, very useful. Making uh, high efficiency fuel. Ah, yes. Some irradiated lands. It looks like we will also be entering Polaris territory. Which is fine. They're friendly as long as we don't mind their resources. They are very conscious or conscious. Uh, I, ca I confuse the word. They're very cautious, let's just say that, about their feel. What is... What are these... blue rocks? Or whatever. Flying about. Oh, it's a Promethium bearing. Ah, what do you know? I've never pr seen Promethium as a bearing. I guess that's just one of the things that uh, Reforged Eden puts in. That's kind of nifty. Silicon, copper, iron. Some of your basic stuff. We're now in the Polaris Megacorp territory now. We'll have to be aware of what we do. But time is depleting much faster since so we're on move. That's a good thing to feed time. Come on. Can make it. You can make it. Go up. There you go. 
I think there's just too much cargo right now. It's causing it to have a harder time going up hills. The trade station is a good find. Usually you can find some good things to purchase there. And usually trade a whole bunch of stuff. trading station we can repair some of our equipment if you so wish to do so I do wish to repair my suit of armor oh my inventory is too full I have to drop drop some fuel yeah that's good enough repair Perfect. Great. Trading stations really meant for player to player trading. Oh, spike a lag, but I can heal up, which is very dandy. I don't have any uh, medical items to heal that. Anyway. Ah, yes. Weapon commodities. Oh, I need to make some credits, so I could sell some shells. I could sell 87 of my shells. Oh. I don't want to buy too much. Fine. Magnesium powder. Charge, drill, charge. Don't have a drill yet, so take it. Mmm. What about construction kit? Uh. How much are you selling this for? Ouch. 74 pop. Damn, for some bandages? Not worth that price. Um, are you selling food? The booster crew. Crew is expensive. Transportation boost. Armor boost offers specific. Does increase my carry weight. Can loot the freezer. That's the one thing I like to do is find free food. Oh, you got some good weaponry here. Only you're only willing to accept the item. Bars or crew. Purified water. Not willing to buy it, but you are willing to sell it. Uh, well. There's much more like. Yep. There is a teleporter, so if I make my own teleporter, I can always teleport here whenever I need to. More free food? Yes. That grilled steak. That. Doesn't seem to be much more I can do here. I'm 
much time that I can sleep in a sleep in a tent. I think I should do get out there, sleep in that tent. Oops, I shut down. Yeah, we just need to get that base ready. And head on back to the spot that I wanted to be at. That way it's near water, still in a good looking location, and I have easy access to the base that I want to scrap. There's just too much at that base to lose. Just give up. Ooh, boy. Getting hefty. Sorry for the lost frame there. Can't really avoid it. Alright. In a nap. And our base is ready. We're going to head on back. We'll mark the location. This one. Waypoint. Oops. Wrong button. Now we're going to trek four kilometers back, place the base, get everything sorted out, or I would at least sort some things out off, off, uh, off the recording, just to save and spare the extra time that I've already spent over the hour. Good that we did find a Polaris though. Our offering patient service. Uh could buy some ammo. Can't really buy any fuel. It's not like I need it anyways. I pull on fuel. I should stop trying to go up because it's just too heavy of a vehicle. If there was some better, <clears throat> maybe if there was some better thrusters on it, it'd be a lot easier to go up these mountains. But pointless at this point. Try and go up those mountains. Oh dear me. The vehicle just up and stopped again. Oh why it doesn't. I guess the hover pads underneath kind of lose traction for some reason. It really makes sense, but it is what it is. No, it's not too far away from this irradiated zone either. That way I can come get some promethium ore. And uh, I believe there's also cobalt here. You see it. Definitely pentaxid. The earliest way of getting pentaxid, which is used for subspace and hyperspace travel. Goodness, keep bumping into things.
clear out there. And here we are. Right where I want it to be. Hmm. Oh, ow. What's wrong with you? Sometimes it fails and just drops. Some random now how much of a how much would I hurt our relations if I were to place a base they town territory with any vessel negative 50 five real-time minutes do spawning a structure within their territory yeah they will find me and uh, find a place just outside their territory here we go perfect Now, this place we call Difficulty Check. RE stands for Reforged Eden. This, oops, this is a place that me and Dex from Dead and Dead Play Game. <laughs> Dead and Dex Play Games. I can't believe I said that. Dead and Dex Play Games. Uh, me and Dex built this a long time ago. Way before release ever happened to the game. I don't know why I keep doing that. We uh, just wanted to build something cool. Didn't actually get to use it, but I decided uh, that's I'm starting up a whole rival series, put it to some good use. Can't do this here. Oh, even more of a limitation. Can't do it here, right at the uh, seam of this world. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it over here because again, I don't want to be near water, right next to water. Gosh, you gotta love these little limitations. Sometimes. At least there'll be plenty of wood too. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Not right. Something is causing causing the hover pads to fail. How strange. I'll I'll reach land eventually. I aim towards it. Sorry about this. I don't know what's going on. Come on. Get up on top. No. Can't. Well, um, that was interesting. I don't know what's causing it to fall under, but uh, it does what it does, I guess. Alright, now we'll place it down. I believe. Yep. Good. What you do is drop it down a little bit. Actually, move this thing out of the way. Almost like a beach house of sorts. Definitely want it sunk in the ground just a bit. 
blammo. There we go. It's a pretty, uh, it's a, it's not too fancy or anything. It's just enough. And we do have turrets on the top just for protecting it. Uh, we've got ammunition control here for any of the ammunition turrets need. Did place a small constructor with freezer, everything. Uh, turn output consumption. Oh, it, it's it's trying to go off of solar power, but I'm gonna have to realign these solar panels to be. Uh, well, this is doing all right. It's just currently not time to. Wow. All, well, I have to say that these solar panels are working quite efficiently for, its, for their placement. Wow. I guess I don't have to do any alignment. Astonishing, really. I didn't think they would be that efficient. Of course, some solar panels won't get enough won't get enough power sent through them. But that's kind of why we have cells. And yeah, got a place to put our hovercraft, so that's what we'll do. Set it down on the left side. Perfect. Dock it to the base. Shut it down. We've also got plenty, like plenty of storage. So, what I'm gonna do, just for sake of getting anything everything off of the cargo bus or just instantly unload everything in this cargo cargo container except any necessity that the uh cargo bus needs such as ammunition i can create more ammunition for the base later when i get to that now we can finally offload everything that we've been just holding on to. Um, as for this, we want to shove that in the freezer. Uh, as for the gun, well, all the other random stuff that doesn't belong in the freezer. We will just move back into the container. Huh? And it seems like the cargo bus is finally clean of all of its inventory. There you have it. We got a base. We also got a place for any small vessels that we take out to outer space. Um. I have a small vessel that I will be crafting called the Terra Drifter. Uh, I come up with just random names that sound neat for it, whether it's accurate or not. <laughs> you be the judge. I, um, but yeah, I, I've got I've got a ship that I can put together. I just need to make and acquire the necessary components. And we can actually take off into outer space. As for now, I think that'll do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, uh, hope you guys continue watching and enjoying the content. Uh, I'll try and make more, and I'll definitely try my best to continue on with the. Uh, Destiny series once I can corral my uh, sister and friend back again that way we can continue doing that uh, a friend 
my friend has been currently busy doing some home stuff and other things that have been keeping him busy, so we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, this will make up for any missing videos that I have not put out, as long as I keep up with it myself. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed. I hope that you also give Dad and Dax play games a try as well. I thank them for inspiring me to play this again, especially the Reforged Eden uh, scenario pack that was designed by another player. I did not get their name specifically, but I think I, I will try and collect the URL for that and put it in the description, which I will also put into the previous video now that I rem remind myself about that. Anyways, thank you. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whichever time zone you may live in. And see you in the next video.